So how do you get those electronic drums to sound on your computer? Well, I'm gonna talk about an easy way just using Audacity and a more difficult way. Let's talk about the easy way first. All you need for this process is an eighth inch audio cable that can reach all the way from your drum set to your computer. It's also nice if you have one of these eighth inch to quarter inch audio adapters because um, a lot of, of electronic drum sets don't have an eighth inch audio jack. If it has one, you don't need this. You also need a blue line in input on the back of your computer. Most Windows machines come with this already so you don't have to worry about it. Lastly, you need Audacity, which is free and that's awesome. Let's get into it. So as you can see, I have my eight inch audio cable plugged into the back of my computer into the blue port. The green is for connecting your speakers, the red is for connecting a microphone. We're not doing any of those, we're just connecting straight through into the, the drum set. So if I follow along this cable on the other side, we're going to have my drum set. So I have an electronic drum set on an Alesis DM8, and this is the head unit. And um, I don't have a, a eighth inch headphone jack, I just have a quarter inch. So you are probably going to need, um, well, you, you, it's likely that you're going to need an adapter that converts the eighth inch audio cable to a quarter inch or if you have an audio interface, you can just go directly um, quarter inch to quarter inch. And I'm just gonna plug this into the headphone jack. Um, this is the line in, this is actually not for um, sound going out, that's for sound going in if you wanted to attach music. So make sure you plug the, uh, your line in cable into the correct port. All right, first things first, I'm going to click the record button, but I have as the input, the line in, that's important. That corresponds to that blue port up on the back of the computer. Notice that there is no sound coming out of the, the drum set at this time because it's not being played, which is kind of nice, meaning like this, like there's not gonna be barely any sound that's gonna come out, just those are just residual vibration. Um, you know, that, those are actual sounds coming from the drum set. Um, so, let's try playing. As you can see, there's a little bit of red at the top of those meters. I tried to set the volume on the drum set to about 35% around there. You want to get your volume to so it's not red the entire time. You want to have um, probably aim for like negative 6 dB as close as you can. Um, there's going to be some peaking because it's the drums, but we do the best we can. If you don't have an eighth inch cable of that length and you have a quarter inch cable, then you're gonna need also an audio interface. And if you have a Mac, they don't come with those ports, so you'll have to buy an adapter that connects from an eighth inch audio headphone jack like this to the computer, or you can use an audio interface as well. If you wanna use a quarter inch cable like this one, then you're going to probably need an audio interface. This one has a bunch of XLR inputs for microphones, and it also has a few um, quarter inch jacks for um, the purpose of guitars, but you can also use this as a straight through cable for your drum set. This needs to be hooked up to your computer. Um, usually, um, a lot of these are use USB, but some of them use Firewire, but USB is the most predominant um, connection. This is a Tascam 1800. I don't recommend getting something this big if you're just getting into recording. All right, let's talk about the hard way. So it's not exactly hard, it's just a little bit more complicated. Now, what you need for this process is a way to connect the MIDI output from your drums to your computer. And often modern um, electronic drum sets use just a USB cable, so you can just use a USB cable, all the logic is on the board. Otherwise, you need MIDI cables and perhaps a MIDI controller to route the MIDI from the drum set to your computer. But for, if you're lucky, your drum set's going to just have a USB cable that you can plug in and, and, and you can have that, um, that MIDI audio. Now, MIDI doesn't have audio in itself. Like, you have to link it to something that's going to output sound for you. So you're not going to get the same sound as your drum set. And when you plug your own headphones into it, you're going to get just a bunch of instructions that you can then feed into a different set of sounds. And so you need a 
digital audio workstation really to make this happen. There's free ones and um, there's many, there's, there's, there's several different digital audio workstations or DAWs as they're called, DAWs. And um, FL Studio is my DAW of choice. So you're gonna have to find one that works for you. Um, I had to go to MIDI settings and I had to go to my DM8, which is my Alesis DM8 interface, hit enable and um, I'm recording notes. And so if I hit the record button, I'm just gonna go play a beat. All right, you can see the instructions. Oops, you can see the instructions that were just sent from my drum set to my computer. And as I've discovered through this process is that for some reason or another, um, this you don't sound very good. <laughs> When you do it this way, you have to um, eventually adjust some of the notes to make this line up the way you want it to. Um, it might be because of my own skill as a drummer. Um, I'm sure that plays into it, but I'm sure there's lots of factors. Um, so you might have to go in here and modify, okay, I want this note to be right here rather than right here, et cetera. Um, so you'll have to, you have to kind of um, play that situation out here. But let's take a listen to what this sounded like. So as you can see, it doesn't sound nearly as full and rich as when I just plugged into the line in because um, the balance is a little bit off. Like I'd have to go in and tweak that. So just know if you're going the hard way, you might have to go really the hard way when you're using exporting MIDI, but it gives you some more flexibility that can work better for your track. If you're interested in music and instruments in general, this channel is for you. I'm going to be learning about lots of different instruments and sharing my lessons learned with you. Thanks for watching.